Little is known about Anne Hyde, the first wife of King James II before 1649 when her family who were royalists fled to the Netherlands following the defeat of royalists' forces in the English Civil War and the execution of Charles I. At this time, Anne would have been 12 years old. Anne was the eldest daughter of Edward Hyde's second marriage to Frances Aylesbury and was named after her father's first wife Anne Aylith. Anne's father was Charles I's leading advisor and went into exile with the king's son, who would become Charles I. They were invited to settle in Breda in the Netherlands by Mary of Orange who sympathised with many royalists escaping English roundhead rule. Anne Hyde would even be appointed as maid of honour to Mary of Orange during her exile in the Netherlands. During her time as maid of honour she would attract many suitors including Spencer Compton, son of the Earl of Northampton and Henry Jimin. The suitors though would soon be disposed of as she met James, Duke of Albany, son of Charles I. James declared that he would marry Anne, an act which found opposition from many people including her father who imprisoned her and begged Charles to have her executed. Charles rejected Edward Hyde's protestations believing Anne would be a strong influence on his younger brother. Anne would end up marrying James in 1660 when she became visibly pregnant. An official marriage though would follow later in the year in September when the monarchy was restored in England. The first eight children of Anne and James would all die in infancy. Although Anne was well liked by her brother-in-law, King Charles II, she was not popular at court as many considered her of lowly birth. Also, during this time, Anne was aware of her husband's infidelities having numerous affairs. In particular, James's affair with Lady Chesterfield made Anne protest to the king so much that Lady Chesterfield had to retreat to her country estate where she remained until she died. Anne has also been credited to leading her husband, James, to converting to Catholicism. Anne is known to have stopped attending Anglican church services in 1669. James is known to have converted at around the same time but at the insistence of Charles II it was not made official until 1673. Although James did convert to Catholicism he insisted for political reasons that both his daughters Mary and Anne, who would both be future queens of England should be raised as Protestants under the Church of England. Following the birth of her fourth and final son, Edgar in 1667, Anne would fall ill for around 15 months. During this illness she would give birth to two further daughters Henrietta in 1669 and Catherine in 1671. Anne would never recover following the birth of Catherine and died from breast cancer on 31 March 1671 after the birth of her youngest son, Edgar. Anne would refuse communion from an Anglican priest on her deathbed preferring to receive viaticum from the Catholic Church instead. She would be interred in the vault of Mary, Queen of Scots at Westminster Abbey's Henry VII Chapel on 2 April 1671. She would be survived only by both her daughters, Mary and Anne who would also be the James's only heirs to the throne. In 1673 Anne's husband James married Mary of Modena. Together they would have one son, James Francis Edward Stuart. James would become King of England, Scotland and Ireland in 1685.
His government would dispose him though during the glorious revolution of 1688, when his own daughter would jointly take both his crown and throne with her husband, William III of Orange. Following the deaths of Mary in 1694 and her husband, William in 1702, Anne's sole surviving child and daughter, Anne, would become the first sole queen of the kingdoms of England, Scotland and Wales in 1707.